I'm heading out to Maskell's Classic Custom Shed to check out progress on Luke's PV build. Luke's parents, John and Glenda, and little brother Lockie, are heading down from Crookwell in the southern tablelands in New South Wales, a little six hour drive to do the same. I can't wait to meet them and find out Luke's passion for doing up cars, especially the Holden Sandman panel van that Maskell's are lovingly restoring in his honour. After Luke passed, uh, I just Googled a heap of bloody car, different guys, and got some names and telephone numbers and email addresses and sent a few photographs and, and told Luke's story, what happened to him. And Greg was basically the first one to come back to me. And uh, having sp spoken to Greg on the phone a few times initially, and then I, he said, come down and we'll have a yarn. So I kept, we both came down to meet Greg before Greg decided to do it, and we showed him a few photographs of the van and. Greg decided to take it on, thankfully. I suppose we all had the panel van back in, well, when I was a young fella, so yeah, I had one and always spoke about it. If it's rocking, don't bother knocking. Exactly, <laughs> and uh, I wish I never sold it, but anyway, things time change and you have to sell things, so I got rid of it and then Luke always wanted one. And uh, so yeah, we managed to find one and this is it. He had a lifestyle, he had a dream, but he had to pay for it. So he had two jobs. He was also finishing his HSC, was the, the school captain at Trinity Catholic College in Goulburn. So he had a lot of leadership activities to Played go to. Played a lot of rugby well. too, didn't he? Loved his rugby, had a, a beautiful Labrador um, whose name is Jax, who is now our legacy, <laughs> um, which keeps us very active every day. Um, yeah, no, he was a hard worker, he had a dream, and he was trying to fulfil that. And of course, um, working two jobs, having a, a very active social life, loving his rugby, etc. Then um, fatigue was the was the thing that killed him in the end, is that, yeah, he fell asleep at the wheel. There were signs of fatigue that we probably didn't pick up on, you know. Um, you know, he, he wasn't good at getting out of bed in the morning, but most teenagers aren't. But, you know, that was an extended activity. Um, you know, he, he would say that he was tired. We, we knew that he was, you know, drinking the, the drinks that keep you awake and he had some no-dos in his car etc. So there were signs of fatigue which we had conversations with him about fatigue but that doesn't seem a reality um, to a teenager when you're having those conversations. To manipulate a car is one thing, driving at home on the farm is another thing but being street wise to drive a car is a di very different thing and then learning good driver behaviour such as recognising the signs of fatigue um, is something that we, we probably need to talk to our children more about and make them aware that this is this is a serious thing. It all started with KBS Coatings. I think it's Andrew um, rang Greg up and said, oh, I've heard about the, the van of all the coating. We'll send you some down to finish it off. And I phoned Andrew up from KBS and, and thanked him personally. And he said to me, John, you're living my not me. I have two sons just about to get their peas and uh, I don't want them to end up like your bloke. He said, yeah, you're, you're living my nightmare. Yep. There were still parcels coming after he died, you know, yep. in the post for things that he'd, oh, yeah. he'd bought, like, you know. But then, so Luke had translated his vision to John, so then John could translate it to Greg, and now Greg is interpreting it, and I think that's the, that's the, the beauty city, of the message. Is it? Is, yeah. 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 Or we'd go to car um, showings, and uh, he would usually get the, the People's Choice Award, mm. not necessarily because of the car, but because he'd talk to everybody and, <laughs> here, vote for me. <laughs> he was networking. <laughs> Imagine the sadness that Glenda, John and Lockie are going through right now. Luke was a legend to his mates, a lovable larrikin. He'd have a chat to anyone. He loved his sport, family and pup jacks. He had a clear vision for his life and worked hard to fund his dreams. All that changed when Luke was tragically killed at just 18 in a single vehicle accident as a result of fatigue. Luke shared his vision for the Sandman with his dad, John 
who shared it with Greg and the team at Maskell's, who are now bringing it to life in Luke's honour. Beautiful. <laughs>